today we're going to look at the women's 100 meter hurdles from the 2022 pen relays which featured none other than sydney mclaughlin lavroni this race obviously an off distance for sydney but anytime she has the opportunity to race in front of a packed house at franklin field we're going to take notice and a lot of people are probably wondering why run the high hurdles she's so successful in the low hurdles she does some 400s as well but what is it about the high hurdles that's able to get her ready to beat the best in the world and be the best in the world in the four meter hurdles well this isn't a thing that she's done throughout her entire career we're going to pause for a moment before this race gets started let's go back and look really at when she started running the high hurdles which was 2021 after she switched coaches to bobby kersey she ran the 60 meter hurdles indoors and then outdoors she actually runs several 100 meter hurdle races got her personal best all the way down to 1265 at mount sac now what was the end result well if you remember that summer the tokyo olympics she goes on to run 51 46 so this is a little bit of the exact same pattern that she showed in 2021 running it back in 2022 hey it worked in 2021 why not try it again with the benefit of hindsight we obviously know this worked fabulously well let's check out this race she comes in as the heavy favorite despite not being a experienced high hurdler and you can see through hurdle one she's pretty much even with this field and you'd expect the high hurdlers those who are more experienced with getting out of the blocks really quickly to be a little bit better at this portion of the race but as this goes on sydney now is inching ahead and then you see on these last several hurdles really pulling away and showing her class you can also see just the technical expertise and probably why bobby kersey wanted her to run these high hurdle events put her in a different sort of situation the hurdles are higher have her work on a different part of her race so she storms off to the victory, wins by a large margin. We'll talk a little bit more about the time in a moment when it comes up as Sydney gets another win. No stranger to a victory, but doing it in a different race this time. Now let's check that time. Let's go over now to 2022. She ends up running 12.75, so only one-tenth slower than what she had run last year when she had had a bunch of races really to amp up, to get acclimated to the higher hurdles. This one, it was one and done. After this, she went to the four hurdles, and we saw what happened next all the way down to the 50.68, the mind-boggling world record that we didn't think was even possible from her. And it all started with this high hurdle race. This really got her into a racing rhythm let's go back let's take a look at it one more time this from that head-on view which is so fun to watch with these hurdle races you can see just how smooth and composed mclaughlin lavroni is as she takes the win in 12.75 seconds this year's pen relays will once again be live on flow track at the end of april be sure to tune in for all sorts of coverage, professional fields, collegiate fields, high school fields, Championship of America, and they'll be handing out those wheels once again. We'll talk to you next time.